Hi guys, thanks for joining us on today's video where we're going to be making a vinyl print t-shirt from scratch. So we're going to cover software design, we're going to use the vinyl cutter and then we're going to use a flat heat press to make the t-shirt. So as always we'll start with the software design. So I'm just going to select file and then document properties here in Inkscape we're using. I'm just going to change these to inches like I always do. And then I'm going to put the size in here that I require for the t-shirt I'm making. So you can see I'm putting my size in here. You can put whatever size in here you need. So if you want to make a smaller t-shirt, you can make the size smaller there if you want to. So I'm just going to write some text first. I'm going to grab the text tool, drop it down on my design space. And then I'm just going to write something in here. So I can grab my arrow, touch the control button as I scale this out so it keeps it in ratio. So this is actually a t-shirt I'll end up giving to my dad because he's got a massive grey beard. So I'm just going to change the font here. We'll go for MV Bowley, like a handwriting font. So if I just centralise that a little bit. So I'm going to select file and then import and I'm just going to grab this guy with a beard and some sunglasses and then I'm just going to bring it in. So again I'm going to scale this down, hold my control button whilst I'm scaling and it will keep it in the right ratio, pull it onto my design space, just make it a touch smaller. So. I want to trace this now so I'm gonna right click trace bitmap and then just select OK there and then that's traced it so you can see when I move that off the bottom one is our old one so I'm just gonna get rid of that and keep the new traced one if you see some of our other videos we go a little bit more in depth into this so to make the text cuttable I selected path object to path So then we just want to send it to sign cut. Like again, you'll see a more in depth uh, version of this in our other videos. So I forgot to mirror that then. So I just need to go back here, select my mirror box at the top there. And I just need to mirror it because on the t-shirt it needs to be backwards so that it's the right way, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna put my vinyl in to the vinyl cutter now before we start to cut would be handy wouldn't it so shiny side down dull side up we want to cut the vinyl not the plastic make sure my settings are correct before I cut and then select export center sign cut pro 2 the little emblem will come in the bottom of the screen again and now it's mirrored just as I need it to be mirrored so now I can select my scissors. I always check there again, is it mirrored? And then select cut out. So you'll see now it will start to cut my vinyl for me. It only takes a few moments to cut, it's very quick. So you can see it's done the glasses there, you can just see it on the screen. And it's going to come down and do the beard. Very fast these machines. If you need to know a little bit more about the settings, you can go to our other videos and watch the full setup video for this cutting machine. So we'll just watch a little bit more of this and then we'll, we'll go on to the weeding. So when this is finished, you'll want to take your vinyl out of the vinyl cutting machine. So it's dead straightforward to put it in and take it out with these cutters, you just use the three rollers at the back. So if I flip my three rollers up, take the vinyl out, and you'll just see it scored the vinyl there. So I've now set that down on the side ready to weed. So I've got my little uh, weeding tweezers there. So some people use a picking tool. I like the tweezers better because you can just pick the, the small pieces inside the letters directly out rather than having to try and mess about with just a, a picking tool. Tweezers work much better. So I would just pull the excess vinyl off there and then take the small pieces away from the insides of the, 
the letters. So you can see it's only taken a few moments to weed this t-shirt. It doesn't take very long at all. Obviously, if you've got 10 or 20 uh, to make, just put some music on. It's actually quite soothing sitting doing this. So there you go, almost finished. So once I've finished weeding it, I'm just going to grab my scissors. So I'm just going to trim around it, making sure I don't get any black vinyl on the edges because that will obviously stick to the t-shirt. So you want to make sure you're just cutting the plastic and you're not catching any vinyl. So that's now trimmed down and ready to go onto our t-shirt. So you can see it's backwards there, the dull side, which is the vinyl. And then if I turn it over, you'll see the shiny side, which is the plastic. So that's the way it'll go down on the top. So if I just grab a t-shirt now, put it over the heat press, make sure it's on there nice and straight. You'll get used to doing this in time after you've made a few t-shirts. It's a lot easier than you think. So I like to give it a quick pre-press here. Take any moisture out of the t-shirt and any creases away. Just flick any little bits off the t-shirt that you see. So again, we want to put the dull side down, the sticky side, the shiny side facing up. Put our design where we want it to go. That looks okay. So I'm just going to grab my Teflon sheet now to cover it. If you don't have a Teflon sheet, you can just use some pieces of plain paper. But I always like to cover it because I just like to look after my heat press. So there you go, covered. So we're almost ready to press. There we go. So a nice medium to firm pressure for a t-shirt. You don't want it too tight that you can't close the heat press but you don't want it uh, too loose either because it won't bed the vinyl in properly uh, to the t-shirt and it'll end up coming off after one wash so you need to get the pressure right on that so this is warm peel vinyl so I'm just gonna peel it straight off here if it was cool peel I'd let it cool down slightly so you can see that's came out really well You'll see when I hold it up now, there's no ridges in it. It's totally smooth and flat. So this vinyl is really good quality. You can wash it up to 60 degrees and you can tumble dry it and it'll stay on there just fine. Vinyls came a long way. It's very good quality these days if you buy the correct vinyl. So that's how you make a vinyl print t-shirt, guys. Very straightforward. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Please don't forget guys that if you haven't bought your printed equipment yet, we do sell complete startup packages. So a lot of people come to us for help getting started up. We sell to schools, universities, martial arts academies, people working from home. And they come to us because they get something like what you see on the screen here, a full startup package. So they get all of the equipment that you see there. What they'll also get is they'll get their training and their after sales support so you'll see there you'll get your equipment your training and your after sales support from us you'll also get if you come and visit us for your training a free cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit how's that please give us a like on social media guys facebook twitter and instagram and please like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel um, you can also go to our website, which is www.starttoprint.co.uk. You'll see it on the screen there. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.